Welcome back to another episode. I'm your host, Vincent Green. I'm your host, Noel John Tui. We got Karen Mack in the back, and this is MDK Presents, Craig Reynolds and Cameron McCauley. Hey, boys. Thanks for coming on. And uh, we just watched your movie, Rebecca's Boyfriend. And um, so you want to talk to us a little bit about the movie, how it came to fruition, and uh, just tell the folks a little bit about who you are, what you do. Craig, you go first, you know, being in charge of the director and shit. Yeah, yeah, cool. Yeah, thanks for having us on. Uh yeah, Rebecca's Boyfriend, it's uh, a comedy drama, um, mostly set in Dublin. Dramedy. A dramedy, yeah, 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 for sure. I'll, I'll take that. Um, <laughs> it's set in Dublin, and it's a, uh, about a guy who, after cheating on his girlfriend, has to reevaluate himself and reconsider that maybe he's not the nice guy that he thought he was and, and um, he's actually a dickhead. He's, yeah. he's so awkward in it, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's having, a, he's having a rough old time. So it's kind of about yeah him. If I had that guy here with me right now, <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. So Cameron, what was your involvement with? <laughs> yeah, um, I, uh, I, I, I suppose I have a little bit of a problem saying no to any of Craig's proposals. Uh, so um, yeah, he just strung me along for this one too. Um, and I kind of, I just ended up acquiescing and kind of, um, yeah, just being around when he needed me to be around. Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, that's life. But I have to say, you sank into the role. There was something very believable about it. I think it's because it's probably relatable. Everybody does mess up things and tries to question themselves. But I think the awkwardness you brought with was something that was oh, so human. Oh, I'm glad. Yeah, yeah. I, I suppose, um, yeah, I, I mean, Craig, you, you kind of quite deliberately wanted to, to channel some of my uh, some of my natural energy for that. Um, <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. I, I think I, I think I have, a, I think I have a problem being uh, definitive in what I want to say uh, at any given moment, and uh, that probably kind of uh, leaked through uh, into the into the role. I, I mean, I don't know why, I don't know why you didn't bother changing my name. I kind of, <laughs> I, I, do, yeah. I do, I do mildly resent that. <laughs> <laughs> I know, yeah. I, I, people, he's a lot of his player right now. We'll just call him yeah. <laughs> because your name is the, the same in the film. Uh, people have asked me, is it about Cameron's life? You know, or is yeah, yeah. <laughs> and it's just like I, I think whenever I sort of pitch this to agents, you know, they don't think I have much range um, uh, as well. So I mean, it's it's deeply yeah. problematic, and um, I, I wish you hadn't done it. I think it's hard to do. Yeah. It's hard to do it to be very. Somebody says action in your acting. You have to actually be genuinely human yeah. and not this polished kind of version yeah. of human. I just or love somebody it. who stumbles over their words a bit. I like that. I, I love really I do. love his terrible sense of timing. Anytime he like in a situation when he decides to like drop a bomb, he it just has the worst sense of timing. He picks like the most awkward part of the situation to drop the bomb. It's like he comes there for something and he, he kind of like. He kind of gets like lost within himself, like weighing up whether or not do I do it, do it not. And then by the time he actually does kind of pull the trigger in any situation, it's always the worst time yeah, possible. Yeah. And that's what I love. It's so cringe. And yeah. <laughs> that's what I love. Yeah. It. it was all purpose right. Was that the way the shit kind of out? You were like, yeah, this guy's going to be off beat every step of the way. Yeah, well, I mean, I, so I, Cameron and I have known each other since uh, we were actually in school together, but we didn't know each other in school. And then we went to the same college and we got to know each other there. And so I know him really well, and I know, like you've already pointed it out, like his idiosyncrasies, how he's, um, you know, in, in, in the role, he's got a very kind of particular way of talking, which Cameron has a little bit in real life, uh, which is, I hope you don't mind me saying this, Cameron, but it's, it's exaggerated in the film. Yeah. And definitely, I definitely wanted that because Cameron is so good at being natural and uh, and funny without it making it seem like it's an obvious gag. He's yes, without going full Jim Carrey yeah, or something absolutely. where it's like really overt. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so uh, yeah, definitely wanted that. And you know, a lot of the film is improvised as well. We wrote uh, like I wrote the script as we went along uh, and developed it with the actors. You know, Cameron had such an influence on it that you know he's he's a co-writer on it. You know, but we we wrote as we went. Like I didn't have the full script at the beginning. So, um, 
you know, the, it would change as the themes went along. So the ending wasn't known at the beginning, and then so we developed it as we went along. So a lot of my favorite drivers kind of take that kind of approach. So I wanted to kind of emulate that. Yeah, as a someone that I, I, I felt there was unapologetically Irish. I know you kind of like some films are made, especially like you know when they're small budget or they're Irish films, they want to appeal to an audience. Mm. But this was so unapologetically Irish. These people were so Irish. The way the way we talked to each other, it was it was. I, I, I kind of liked that. I mm. felt grounded and probably as an Irishman myself, I felt relatable. Yeah. But it was very much mm. so how I've seen lads that I don't yeah. Yeah. fall into themselves. <laughs> and the crowd of people around them don't, don't say anything. Well, like, you when know, he's like, trying to start the fight. Sorry, Vinny Gun. Sorry, when he was trying to start the fight. Um, the oh, guy yeah. and he's like absolutely yeah. like, like God, you see yeah. that you, you've seen that like a dozen times or a guy like he's just like he's angry at himself yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. he wants to punish himself yeah. but that's it you know when you get yeah he wants to punish himself yeah. Yeah. and he's like yeah. <laughs> it's so brilliant though a lot of, lot, of, lot of beta male energy alright yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah so how did you get all the actors then? so you know, so Cameron's your lead and you've known him for a long time are, are you all from some sort of clicks, some sort of group? Did you know most of the other cast as well? Or yeah, how did that all knew, come to fruition? knew nearly all of them. Um, we all met in the like a, at a drama society in college, so we did like plays and stuff together, and um, so I've known them for years. And then, which is so, which was great because I mean it was so there were so many actors I knew from that time, so it's been great that and then they are really happy to come on board for the film. Um, so that was actually an easier part of the whole, because as you know, it's a painful pro, it takes a village and all that chance. So but yeah. that part of it, at least for you, was seemed to be very smooth. Yeah, no, actually, well, really, really, really lucky. There was, and there's so many, yeah, great actors to hand, um, like Maeve and Breffney and Owen and um, uh, and Jack as well. We were all in drama society together. So um, a couple, a couple of the others uh, came in, like uh, Mark Doherty, uh, who plays the father in this. Um, he came through casting agent, but yeah, generally just people we knew, which was really very blessed, very blessed. With that. So, how did you come across um, the most hated man in TV history? Yeah, the Joff. Attack the Joff. <laughs> just, yeah, just, the Joff attack himself. <laughs> and to see him as like a, a venture capitalist or JP Morgan yeah. or whatever, I yeah, think yeah, yeah. I can't he remember the exact. He plays the part brilliantly, though, doesn't he? It does. Yeah. He's, he's such a good actor, That's, though. It really is. Yeah, yeah. he just he had yeah. he has fun with it. And the camera, your new chemistry was that, that <laughs> half brother. Like, uh, Yes, we're, we're French, yeah. Really. <laughs> oh, yeah, no, it was. Uh, I'm I'm delighted any any time I get to, I get to do stuff with with Jack and like we're again like all all mates going uh, going back a little while now. So um, I've done the I've done theater with him in the past as well um, when we were in a involved in a group called Collapsing Horse who. So, um we're we're a dublin based uh, company but uh ah yeah he's he's so good and i think like i don't know about you craig but like i i, I think he's possibly the funniest man i i know um yeah. he's Absolutely. he's pretty he's pretty singular in his in his comic chops uh and uh it's just a very weird boy yeah <laughs> he seems like he was having fun i have to say when you were him or in scenes yeah. together it, it seemed like you might actually genuinely joke aside, camera aside, everything. Actually oh yeah, well, and I thought that that played true. That's really that's well. That's great. That's great to hear. But I think that's uh, that that that's another thing about Jack as well. Like I, I think he I think he really gets a lot from from working with with friends. Um, and uh, you, you know, obviously he's had like huge huge success with with game of thrones and like even lately kind of like big theater uh endeavors but it's cool he's he's always uh very much vibed uh with his mates and uh that's uh that's a big boon for us because he's uh he's a very talented very funny dude and um yeah it was uh it was it was a gas to to work with him yeah he's He's very, he's very professional, but then also like you know when you're not when you're not rolling, he's um, uh, like a, a complete joker. So it's 
snapping between the the scenes and then go and then just a lot of laughter so it was um there's a couple there's a couple of takes because i was i filmed it i shot the thing myself and i was mostly using it's mostly on a shoulder rig and a lot of takes i, I lost because i was laughing so much that it was just the camera was open. <laughs> the camera just yeah. up the <laughs> very <laughs> weird style to look at yeah. <laughs> but, all right what was the challenge then because you have you have cameron as your own and that's great and you got obviously all these actors and you're a bit of a thespian yourself i'm doing right now and uh what was the challenge because every film has to have its challenge what was the hard part what was the part that pissed you off what was the delay that you didn't see coming where's the hardship as well yeah well being broke it makes it hard uh, <laughs> I've, I've dabbled in being broke. Uh, you know yeah, I'm not really familiar with this sensation, but it's, uh, maybe you can't get things that you want to have. So um, <laughs> it was. Yeah, it, there is a tur- I literally have thirty cents in my pocket. Right. <laughs> uh, my point. Uh, <laughs> we're supposed to be professional, no? <laughs> I don't know what I'm talking about then. Uh, yeah, so that was. So it makes it makes it really hard when you have to get so much free. I mean, th- this took. Uh, it took. Obviously, we weren't working all the time, but the film took about over the course of two years to make. So, uh, and the reason it took so long is because of the lack of money. I think in the, in the money allows you to speed up things, and if you can't, if you don't have money, you have to wait for things to come available. You come available uh, for you. Mm. Um, Sorry, not. I, mean, I didn't mean to speak over. I was just wondering, Cameron, from your perspective, something takes that long. Is it hard to jump back into the character? Because obviously, it's on. Unlike what we saw, this wasn't like a couple of days in your life. This was, yeah, you know, it, yeah. I know, I know what you mean. I suppose, I suppose it is a little bit, but um, at the same time, you know, that's 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 why it was uh, it was good having Craig helming it and uh, being able to, to to kind of give you those pointers and and being able to kind of like ground yourself in the in the scenes that are. Uh, are happening as well so like you you can you can snap back into it um you just need to be i suppose kind of like present and aware and just up for it and i I suppose the film is kind of um it's kind of like a little bit episodic anyway like it it kind it kind of goes it's sort of segmented and in terms of the the scenes so it was kind of nice filming in that kind of set pc way whereby you know that there was a kind of particular thrust for like the the action that was taking place so um it wasn't it wasn't as hard from a, a dramatic point of view um like uh, continuity uh, is another yeah. story I, <laughs> I i i had a habit of losing all my clothes that i um, <laughs> um prior at one point i lost some jeans in the phoenix park so uh, that's just we don't have the time. That's we just, episode. That's, yeah, that's yeah. just a whole, that's a whole thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you know that was that was hard, and that was you know that was financially ruinous, losing so many. Yeah. <laughs> yes, of course. Yeah, yeah. If you look closely, you can see Cameron's uh, lower half like uh, changing like great <laughs> yeah. so You it's, can it's never get the exact ca- it's jeans of, again. It was slightly different. Yeah. It's a kind of it's it's a, it's a sort of chimeric flux that <laughs> kind of uh, that, that that adds. Something. I mean, also like there's there's a lot of like I mean there's one scene when um, Cameron's downstairs and he walks upstairs, and between those two shots, there's a year and a half. So, uh, Whoa. you know, Cameron's actually aging, you know, as well. That was a continuity. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. that's, that's dedication was, to the yeah. role. Yeah, it's, it's there was a year and a half later, and he spent that entire time aging. It's it's, a, it's, a, it's it's like a budgetless boyhood. <laughs> yeah. uh, if you had to do if you had to do it again, though, like I suppose it's honest to Craig, because what 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 was what did you get wrong? You know, like when you approached it, because you knew it was going to be shooting, you had your actors yeah. and stuff. But what was the thing that came? I know you you knew it was going to be hard, but what was the thing if you, if you just got the time back and you had to do it yeah. again? Oh, lo- lo- loads, you know, I mean, it's my first film, so I, it was a massive learning curve for me. And, um, you know, obviously uh, we made it ourselves. There wasn't a producer that was like, would maybe catch you where you, where you fell. Sometimes it is everything has to be decided yeah. yourself. So, I, I, I mean, you know, there was, there was just things you, you can't think about when you're, because you're so tight for time without any money and... 
Um, so basically, in terms of the shots and everything, I didn't really. Ha- I don't. You don't have enough time to set up how you want. You just have to basically whatever you can get. Sometimes is that, is what it feels like. Um, you have the actors for a limited time, so you just need to really be quick and snappy. So if I had, if I did it again, I would take more time. My next film, I'm going to do a more traditional sense of writing the screenplay in one go before the filming begins. Although I like the other method, I, I think it was um, there's some there's loads of fruitful elements to it, but I, I you just you sacrifice control, and I think I, I want a bit more control next time. Um, yeah, you can you can only lose so many pairs of jeans. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> Cameron, Cameron's like, if I had it all to do again, my pants. Yeah. <laughs> I, wouldn't, I wouldn't go to Phoenix Park. So yeah. Well. But uh, yeah, but I, I learned like, I mean, huge amounts of things I would change and like loads of just little small things, you know, just how I want scenes to develop and um, the way I like try, trying to, I, I get more of a cinematic language for the, because you're just shooting whenever you can. It's, you don't have time to think about like the, yeah, the cinematic language, you know, what makes the film unique Syntax and idiosyncratic and, and yeah, yeah, exactly. Do you think, though, the fact that it took you two years to make it, that it gave you a chance to actually kind of get to know your characters better and you're able to evolve them within the story kind of greater because you spent yeah. two years with them, you know? Definitely, yeah. I mean, I was, yeah, I was thinking about it a lot for, for that time. So, um, yeah. It's amazing how much headspace it can take uh, up, though, definitely, when yeah. you're writing so, um, and like it, every you single Because you want to finish, so you have it like a, that itchy sense that you want to complete it, and you have that for two years. Yeah. It was like... Yeah. Oh, it was like... <laughs> Uh, it was to the very choir. satisfying. <laughs> Although it's a pretty the whole time, but it's really it was a great, great feeling to finish it as well. I want to show this to you, Cameron. What is the stri- What is Cameron's deal in this film? Like, what would you describe <laughs> ultimately? Now that it's all said and done, I think he's a bit of a dickhead, yeah. man. He's a little bit of a dickhead. There's a bit of a dickhead about him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But I, see, I he's think... good enough to feel bad. You know what I mean? Like he's yeah. He's, it's yeah. the feeling bad is the kind of yeah. redemption arc almost. The, the, yeah. It's not like he's a player and goes out <laughs> the show all the time. No, 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 I, I, I don't think so. Like, I think... Um... I think he's kind of like he's definitely his own his own worst enemy. Um, <laughs> like uh, he's not very good on the sauce. Uh, <laughs> no, he's no, a terrible no. drunk. Like a terrible yeah. drunk. <laughs> yeah, which is kind of like uh, yeah, which I think is is kind of revealing. And I suppose he's you know I don't know for me like I think at its root you know. And Craig, you might correct me if, if I'm wrong here, but my kind of overall read on it is that perhaps he's unable to admit to himself that he he is not content in his relationship with Rebecca either um, and uh, is sort of afraid uh, of that reality um, to the point where he has convinced himself otherwise. Um mm-hmm. And is kind of trying to put Pandora back in the box. Um, that was kind of like my my feeling of it. But you know, like he's uh, like for for me, it was it was a kind of battle with that uh, that realization because like I think ostensibly, like in the film, it, it, it does appear that he he wants to be uh, yeah back back. He wants to her. be better. That much is painfully obvious. Like, yeah, you know, he wants to be better. He just doesn't know if he is better. Yeah, or how, yeah, is, or how? Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. As, as as well, and he's kind of like, uh, he's kind of yeah. I think he's kind of competing with uh, with kind of forces like slightly slightly beyond polite conversation uh, uh, as well, um, and. Uh, like yeah, the, the 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 whole thing is a kind of is a reckoning with these questions that uh, uh, that he's kind of losing. Um, yeah, I think, I think, I think uh, just I in, uh, yeah, he's also he's unhappy with something inside himself. So he doesn't know what that is. So he's like trying, he's like reaching out, trying to grab something that will make him feel better, but he doesn't know. Trying to fill the emptiness. Yeah, so he, have, he has a mm-hmm. void. Yeah, or something. He's just he's not yeah. flailing his arms around. I think. All the time. Yeah, yeah because, because that's what desperation is. It's, it's not a plan. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's grabbing yeah. a straw. Yeah, 
but that's that's it as well. It's that kind of constant seeking of reassurance as well from from mates, um, from family. Yeah. Um, needs external support. Uh, yeah, 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 very much so because I think he's kind of like he's he's shaky in terms of his uh, in terms of his like true desires and in terms of isn't it like you know, am I a good guy that did a dickheadish thing or am I a dickhead that's been acting like a good guy? Isn't that kind yeah. of the thing? Like, yeah. and what's yeah. the difference between the two? Yeah, exactly. I'm, I'm why am I like that if this is the case? And that's why he starts looking at his father and his relationships yeah. with women and stuff. Yeah, yeah, his father yeah. seemed very at peace. <laughs> <laughs> that, I like that. <laughs> that conversation is <laughs> so awkward, though, isn't it? Right, just sit down. I'm going to make this the most complicated part of the whole thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. This guy's come to terms. That's what I want. That's why I don't want people to hear this and to be taken away that this is a really somber telling. Yeah, it's not. It's it. It's, it's pure Irish awkwardness. In it. is amazing. It's Irish awkwardness. There's yeah. Irish real talk. Yeah. It's um, I don't know. People bounce off each other in such a comical way, but the underground thing is yeah. quite a somber, somber note. But yeah. it, it hits the right yeah. notes in the right way that it kind of tickles. Again, it's it's a dramedy. It touches. It's it like touches in, upon in every Irish thinking. family. We don't talk about feelings for one another. Like, and anytime yes. anyone broaches it, you're like, ah, get away from or me. Until <laughs> somebody eventually gets too drunk and lets it all yeah. out. Yeah, more than crazy. Yeah, like, yeah. 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 comedy on top of yeah. comedy on top of sadness. Definitely. Mm. What it is. Yeah. yeah, and it's but, and it's a hard thing to thread. It is. It is hard to thread. You, you, if you go too much into one thing, the comedy feels forced. If you go too much into one thing, the drama feels forced. Well, I think, Cameron, I think that you did a brilliant job of that because you were just such a fucking mess. I could just buy the funniness and I could buy the seriousness of it yeah. at the same time. He was like, ah, oh, excellent. I, <laughs> I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm, I'm, re- I'm really glad to hear that. You know, yeah. that's like that's that's perfect. And and as you, said, I told you, yeah. I called my best buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Got it in there. Got it in there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know, he, he is. Well, I, I guess I, I guess I deserve. Yeah, that. I think he's also, I think he's also been like you know the, you know the term uh, self boy. That was definitely in our, our <laughs> sometimes. You know, this kind of like outwardly very sensitive kind of intellectual character who mm. yeah. kind of plays himself as um, very respectful. But then you look at if you look at Alyssa Ball's actions, it's like it does not read the same as what he's saying at all. And it, yes, very, yeah. you know, uh, he's after totally different yeah. things. If you look at his actions. He's kind of like he hides behind a veneer, doesn't he? Yeah. He like he acts like how he thinks people think he should act. Yeah. That yeah. kind of thing, like, like and well, even he didn't know he was doing that. I think that's the record. That's, yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. because you do something shitty and it's, you can't lie to yourself. Yeah, it's like you is have this a my girlfriend tr- and you cheat on her, and that's a shitty thing to do. Yeah, and there's no way of getting away. Is that why so, Cameron gets drunk a lot on it? Because you think he's hiding behind the original excuse, like I was drunk, that's why I did it. It's not my fault, and he keeps getting drunk and doing bad things. So it's like he's hiding behind, yeah. like getting drunk. It's like because it's like he's out, like you know, it's not me. It's the the alcohol. It's I'm not this way. It's you know what I mean. It's my proclivities that are kind of like leading me down the wrong way, like you know that kind of thing. Like yeah, for sure. I mean, I think I think he definitely he uses comedy as an uh, uh, an excuse for some of his issues. Uh, it's almost yeah, put, putting himself in the position to be drunk so that when he makes the inevitable mistake, he can plant on that. Uh, yeah, and, yeah. I mean, and. and but I think it's also kind of self-destructive as well. It's just, uh, you know, he's just... The spiral. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, but he, yeah, as Cameron said, he, he definitely has a problem with the sauce. And uh, yeah. so, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I think, I think all of that as well, it's all just like this, the comedy works in both, it kind of balances out the sadness, but it's also like a tool that the Cameron character is using as well to cover up yes. his darker tendencies. It's a defense mechanism. Yeah, for sure. That we've all you don't get to the turkey plus years of life without kind of being that way or seeing that way mm. there was something so very human at the core of it as well so there was a relatability even if you've never done cheated on your girlfriend or anything there's just that time in your life where shit just gets on top of you and it can get quite dark and i think it, yeah. it it does that without dragging you too far down like i think it's a safe way to look at that that's why i love horror films mm. it's a safe way to be scared yeah. Yeah. I just think if, I feel, if the film could be a safe way to kind of get in touch with a part of yourself that, yeah, sure. that, that is real and human, I think you've done a good job. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Well, yeah, I'm very glad you, you, took, you took that from it. That's cool. 
tell, tell me this before we get out here, guys. What, if I wanted to interact with you or what you have coming up or, or anything like that, this is where I've set you up so you can just absolutely shamelessly bug yourself. Right, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, well, so uh, we're uh, still uh, pushing this film around the place, um, but then also we're, um, I mean, I'm, I'm working on another uh, feature that I'm hoping to uh, get off the ground soon. But we'll be casting and looking for uh, people to get involved with that very soon. Um, oh, fine, I'll yeah. do it. Yeah, that's, that's, we'll dance around it long enough. Uh, Is Cameron playing multiple roles? That's all I want to know. <laughs> I'll call Cameron. Oh, I've got Cameron, yeah. <laughs> yeah, my um, that way. Well, it's always Cameron. But Craig, before we let you out of here, what inspired you to start off with a dramedy? Like, what was the one? Is there one movie when you look back? And I want to say to you, Cameron, as well, it's like, was there one performance that you look back on that you're just like, this is what I want to encapsulate when I make a movie for the very mm. first time? Um, I don't think I could pick one, Bob. If I mean, I could pick loads, but if I had to pick one, maybe. So, you know, like Ruben Ostlin films, he did like Force Majeure and The Square. Um, I kind of like those comedies where it's a lot of you know, those films that have a lot of comedy but have a very rich undertone as well. Um, yeah. And I think I wanted to try and copy that as as best I could. Uh, so a comedy with serious undertones. Yeah, it's nice just to have the full mm, yeah. gamut, you know. Have all- slice of life. It is a slice of life. Yeah. yeah. Where you're not going for the bombastic. Yeah. You know, yeah. And, uh, and, and, and Michael uh, Bay. <laughs> I mean, I never, I never actually tried to make it like a full-on <laughs> comedy. It just started to make like it was. You know, my, Owen, who plays Alan in the film, he described it well. It's like it's not super laugh out loud. A lot of the time, the jokes are like <laughs> that yeah. level. Which I quite like. It's like a gentle comedy as well. It's not like um, there's not obvious gags yeah. the whole way through. I just, I think it was. And then Cameron, the comedic look at Dark that line as well of just like. Because if you go too far in the comedy side, it's less believable because the gag become too yes. obvious. So I think Cameron was really good at getting that line of a little bit of comedy with them. It's really. What about you, Cameron? What 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 kind of made what made you the test that you are? Yeah. Like, what what, what, what launched you on this road? Just so people can get a little, it's it's a little before we go here. Yeah, of course. Well, like I mean, like for 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 the most part, like um, I, I've been a sound designer and composer for for theater, and then like I've been in film the music as, as well. Score. Did all the music as well. Uh, uh, regular John Carpenter over here, huh? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah a little, a little bit of that vibe. Yeah, uh, um, yeah. Um, but um, yeah, no, like I, I, it's, it's like, I like acting is just and performing has just been something that I've, I've, I've always enjoyed doing, and you know, it is, it is something I'd like to do, to do more of as well. Like, um, I, I feel like I'm very much at the, at the start of the the journey uh, as well um so uh you know i like i i i would i would love to to do do more more work in future um i am I'm, I'm in no way shape or form an, an expert it's it's just something i i like doing and and I, I i care about and would like the opportunity to to do more of i want to see an irish irish, irish naughty professor cameron playing all the family yeah, uh, I'll accept average. nothing else. Yeah. <laughs> in Cameroon, the yeah. yeah. case in Cameroon. Yeah yeah. yeah, yeah, okay. There's a lot of a lot of moving parts here. Yeah. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. More yeah. caps are very accessible nowadays. Yeah, that's, that's, a, that's it. And we have, we must have like, we must have at least like. 700 euro between yeah. yeah 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 well like, i mean if you give me five or six days yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, it's, it's it's some nights in the corner or whatever, whatever. Yeah, exactly. yeah. <laughs> guys i'm gonna have to wrap it up there because well, zoom's gonna be me well, boys uh so uh tell everybody watch your socials and we'll uh let you go yes yeah so the company's uh vapa films so if you just it's all 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 in one word vapa spelled v-a-h v-a-h films and if you go to that you can find out all, all the stuff about us it's on. And uh, Cameron, your socials there, dude. If anyone wants to scope you out, follow you on Twitter, Facebook, or whatever. Oh, uh, yeah, the metaverse. I mean, <laughs> only fans. Fuck you, yeah. I said the word. <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, Cameron, <laughs> yeah. he's kind of, kind of free social media. 
Yeah, oh, like, this yeah. guy, this guy. I'm, uh, I'm, uh, I'm a bit, bit of a, bit of a luddite, I'm afraid. Yeah, I'm um, like, you can find me on a Nokia thirty three ten. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Go, go, go to Dublin Seven and shout loud enough. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He'd be sitting around appear. the table playing six different people at the exact same time. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there you go. Yeah, that's that's your best. That's your best. Then. Boys, thank you so much for coming. I really so appreciate it. Thanks so much for being with us, guys. Um, boys, this is MD. This is MDK Presents. I'm your host, Vincent Green. I'm your host, Alton Tui. We got Karen Mack in the back, and that was Craig Reynolds and Cameron McCauley. Check out Rebecca's Boyfriend. Check out the Dublin International Comedy Film Festival. It's coming this weekend. Everybody, just like, check it out. It's going to be a lot of fun. Thanks. Vava Productions, was that correct? Vava Productions. Vava Films. 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 Hey, Bobby. Hey, Bobby. What's French for Vava Voom? (laughs) 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 All right, boys. Thanks again. See you next time. Okay, cool. Like that? Yeah. Like that. And grand finale. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm pretty good? <laughs> yeah. Oh my god, I'm a dickhead. No, you're not a dickhead. Don't. Yes. This is the thing, I cheated on Rebecca. I cheated on her with a, a girl from work. Ooh. Oh no, Cameron. Sometimes it's better just not knowing. No, I'm telling you. Like, your dad had an affair, but then she knew about that and. What? Cameron! Oh my god! It's Rory! Yeah! It's my half brother! I am a depository oversight analysis with JP Morgan. This place has changed a lot. These days, the only thing that's strung up around here are the rental prices. Are you paying around about three grand a month on average for a two bedroom apartment? Did you know that Dad cheated on my mum? Yeah, I mean, I knew. He cheated on my mum too, so. What? Uh, sorry, I wouldn't normally do this, but I just saw you guys from across the bar and I thought I'd come over and say hello. I, I know it's not really the done thing in Ireland, but uh, you know, I think we should get better at this kind of stuff. What I'm saying is that, like, you would, that you don't tell her. No, sorry, you absolutely have to tell her. Just take this, you know, it's, it's just, um, it's very easy. Yeah, because we're friends. Yeah. I seem like a nice guy, but actually underneath it, I'm like any other number of No, you are people. a nice guy. You know, you can sort out so much by sitting around talking about it, but it's complicated, it's fucking life. Mm. Mm. Dublin City! Wow, 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 wow! Very nice, very nice. Nice, I like that one. Mmm.